So guys, today I got a facial rig for you, and I'm also gonna show you how it works. Now, first of all, a lot of, a lot of you will say, this looks a lot like Skibs' facial rig, but no, I can guarantee you this is 100% my work, it's made completely from scratch. But I do know it resembles Skibs' facial rig a lot, because that's the rig I've been using so far. Anyway, this is it, 100% original facial rig made by me. Also, I try to keep the item count as small as possible. So basically, you open up the head and you got the face in here. The face has the eyes and the mouth separated by this invisible thing. Also, you want, might want to keep this here because it's important for the mouth. Um, plus, it separates the eyes from the mouth, which is pretty organized, I think. So uh, the way this works is you got the first control here in the eyes. If you want to make this guy blink, you can just scale the Y down and uh, he's gonna blink you can also customize the eyes here like for your skin yeah you got two of these because they both serve a different function you gotta leave them here uh, never mind this thing but the color basically is why you're here so your skin has like a skin tone color so basically open up the color tab and change the mix color here and uh, this is where you uh, this is where you decide the inner color like so it matches your skin and it doesn't look too weird like right now I have it on red because it's a red red face and also the round edge it's locked so you don't mess with it because it's got two round edges on the top and the bottom you can however scale this if you scale it up it's gonna break so I I personally advise you not to do that but you can scale it down and eliminate it so we got flats which I don't think it looks nice, so I'm just gonna leave it as it is and lock this thing back. Yeah, um, that's basically for the customization of the eyes. Next you have eyebrows. Here you move eyebrows up and down, basically. And if you want to scale them, you scale them down here, not up there. Uh, so what you do, you basically select both the eyebrows and rotate them, bend them, just like you would do with Skibs' rig. As I said, I've been using that rig for a long time and it's the closest to me and that's also why my facial rig resembles his a lot. And one more thing, the color is pretty tricky because I couldn't get it to work. Uh, you basically open up the left eyebrow fully and then select all the components of the left eyebrow and uh, once you have all of them selected, you can now change the color and uh, that's the only way to do it or else it's gonna break. Do not click the alpha color because it does something strange. Don't mess with it. Select the entire thing and then move the color there. Um, otherwise, don't change it. Same goes for the right one. That's for the eyebrows. And the pupils have a really nice control in my thing. So uh, if you want to move them or change the color, you, that's done in here. Basically, this is the brightness. I'm going to leave it here because I like it. If you want to change the color, you go to this blue multiply thing and change the hue. And you got all the different colors. You even got this little gradient in the middle, so this is also pretty great. But, oh, wait, what have I done? So yeah, that's for the controls. You move them with this folder thing. They move up and down, left and right. Just don't put them out because, yeah, you don't want that. Um, if you want to scale them, you scale them here with the the smaller ones. Select both of them and uh, you can just scale them entirely and they won't break. Might look funny because it's uh, the smaller it is the more it looks like it's sticking out but that's just because it's not completely in the center. Um, might fix that before the release so um, I'm basically just putting them over in and that's how you not break them if that's what you want to do. Um, yeah, that's basically it for the pupils and for the eyes as well. Now the mouth rig is something I'm really proud of. So uh, you scale them up, up and down, just like here. Open it up, scale it up, scale it wide. And uh, yeah, that's basically how you use the mouth. You can also adjust the teeth, top and bottom. I lock them so you don't mess with them. But you can, you know, scale the teeth up if you want your character to show more teeth. I don't know. I don't know what you want to do with this. Smile and frown. Don't touch the folder. Touch the left and the right. Basically select both of them and bend it. 
it's pretty sensitive, so uh, try not to mess with it too much, or else this happens. That's basically the entire rig. If you see this happening, like the teeth showing out the bottom, just uh, select the bottom teeth and scale them down a bit, you know, move them out of the way, just like that. And that's basically it. The girl works exactly in the same way. So if I close the dude, open the gal, uh, the eyes work completely the same, except in the customizable. Uh, she's got these eyelash things, just like Skibs does. Don't touch these. I mean, you can if you want to, like scale them up or something, but they're completely aligned with the eye, and it just took me a while to get it same with the both sides. So try not to touch this too much. Exactly the same, except the pupil's color. Yeah, this is where you actually use the bottom one to determine your color, the bottom multiply. If you're a girl, if you're a dude, you use, you use the upper one. If you're a girl, you use the bottom one. So, uh, that's basically it. Yeah, that's basically it. That's all there is to it. Now I'm gonna show you how you can apply this to your rig. So, if I open up a new project. Okay, so you need to browse for a character with no face. Yes, I'm using the guy from Divided right now. Um, <clears throat> but anyway, no face or else this won't work. Basically, once you click the link in the description, you will download this thing. Basically, this is put in the zip folder. Anyway, you need this. This is my face rig in here. So what you do from here is click this thing, import an asset, and then browse for the thing you downloaded, so Sharp's face rig, and select this test me project. And this is basically my rig in a nutshell. So I want the dude's rig, so I'm gonna delete the gal. And this is the face on the dude. <clears throat> I wanna lock this onto my character. And this is the rig. Basically, now I gotta adjust it. So delete the dude's head, <clears throat> lower the eyes down, and also the mouth. Bring it down. Um, yeah, he's got no right eye. And that's it. What you want to do from here is go to customize eyes and select the color thing. And now try to select the color your character uses. Let's just say this will do for now for the sake of this tutorial. And uh, let's say I want to give him red eyebrows even though I don't know why or how it's compatible. So select the left eyebrow, the entire thing, and uh, mess with the mix color. So now it's got red eyebrows basically if you want to change the pupils just uh, go to the pupil color and uh, mess with the upper one because it's a dude let's give him green eyes like this and uh, scale this down because I want darker green so yeah this is basically how you use my rig where to find it and all about it and I can guarantee you it's a hundred percent original even though it resembles keep this rig I admit and uh, it's free for you to use. The download link is in the description and I hope you'll have fun and it's useful and stuff. I don't know what to say anymore. So that's it. Thank you for watching and stay sharp.